Welcome to the Radical Success Podcast, where we focus on internal transformation to experience external results. I'm your host and coach, Doreen Rainey. Join me each week for insightful messages and powerful interviews to equip you to take bold, courageous, and radical action to live the life you want and deserve. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of the Radical Success Podcast. I am your coach and your host, Doreen Rainey, and I am back, baby. (laughs) I had taken um, a short hiatus as we, um, you know, finalized details and, and things around my mom's passing And also we had uh, my husband and I, our 25th wedding anniversary. And so we had taken a little vacay in the Bahamas and capped it off with a beautiful 25th anniversary celebration with some family and friends. And then of course I had my radical success intensive. Oh my goodness. What an incredible incredible event. Let me just say, if you were not in the room, you missed it. (laughs) What an incredible opportunity to connect with people, coach, teach, train around the concepts and strategies and proven techniques to help you be able to focus on the behaviors, habits, and um, ways of doing things that have worked for you and also focus on how do you shift, change, and adjust those habits and behaviors that have not been working for you. And if you follow me on social media, you've probably seen some of the highlights, some of the photos, some of the video clips. And let me just say, if you missed it, then visiting those social media channels and grabbing those little snapshots of what happened there gives you just a little taste of what could actually, what actually took place in the room. And not only did I have the chance to connect with so many people, but I also opened up enrollment into my Radical Success Mastermind. This is where I work with a small group of people either around their personal transformation or accelerating their business growth um, in a six-month immersion curriculum-based program. And so if you're feeling like it is time, it is your time to step up, to do more, to have more, to give more. If you are realizing that 2018, it is not over by any stretch of the imagination. We are just starting the fourth quarter. We have a good solid 12 weeks in this year. And so much can be accomplished. So much you can achieve around your business or your finances, your relationship, around your own personal growth and your health and wellness. And so if you think that being a part of a mastermind led by an intuitive, skilled, experienced coach, that would be me, <laughs> then I encourage you to check out the details. You can go to RadicalSuccessMastermind.com. That's RadicalSuccessMastermind.com. There you can get details about the program, the logistics of the program, and the outcomes you can expect, and also some next steps if you think it might be a good fit for you. And so on today's episode, I wanted to share with you Um, the top five biggest lessons, concepts, strategies, techniques, um, insights I shared at the intensive to help you position yourself to crush this fourth quarter of 2018. I don't just want you to reach some goals. I don't just want you to take some action. I don't just want you to get some things done. I want you to crush it. And so I want to share with you some of the things that I taught at the intensive that have helped position those attendees to get better results during the last part of this year. So first up, I just want to share with you why attending 
something like the Radical Success Intensive is so important to your personal, professional, entrepreneurial growth. Um, First of all, it allows you to step out of your normal environment. It doesn't matter where you are right now, what you have going on. We all can get caught up in the daily actions of life whether it is with family or whether it's around your work or around your business. And sometimes we need to physically step out of our environment so that we have the opportunity to breathe, so that we have the opportunity to think, to reflect, to process. And that's what these attendees allowed themselves to do. We also created a very safe learning environment. We are not at these types of events to see your mask, right? We're not here to look at all your highlights and accolades. While we want to get to know you, we also want you to be able to take a step back and ask yourself what's not working, to allow yourself to be vulnerable. And we create a safe space where everyone is intending to grow. Everyone is ready to be open. Everyone is ready to share. And then a part of being at that intensive is that I will challenge you. I will challenge you to step into your best self. I challenge you to look at and examine the areas of your life that you may have been avoiding for a while. And yes, it can be uncomfortable. And yes, it can be a little bit blah, blah, but it is necessary for growth. And then, of course, being a part of an event like this, it empowers you. It empowers you to overcome the fears, the challenges, the barriers that have been holding you back, that have been setting you back. And what's so powerful about the intensive is that many, many attendees discovered some fears and barriers that they didn't even know they had. And so to be able to, first of all, examine the subconscious and the conscious mind and be able to use that data, that information to understand what has been working for you and what hasn't been working for you. And then, of course, in an environment like this, I dare you to make a significant shift, a significant change in the way that you think and the actions you take and the goals that you set. And so, again, I encourage you to check me out on social media at Doreen Rainey, Instagram, Twitter, on Facebook. Um, Our Facebook group is the Radical Success Tribe. That's where you can catch replays of some of the sessions, some highlights, some videos, and some great content in there um, that was shared at the event. And so let me jump right into these five takeaways that I wanted to share with you today. You know, we um, planned out the flow of the intensive to be very specific and to be very methodical. And day one, we talked a lot about internal transformation, what has to take place on the inside of you. Why do you think what you think? Why do you believe what you believe? Why do you do what you do? Why don't you do um, those things that you want to do? And why do you do some things you really don't want to do? Day two, we talked about Um, the power of using that internal transformation to create external results. What is it that you really want in life? What are your big goals, your big dreams? And then finally, on day three, we put it all together so that you could create your own personalized action plan. How are you going to move forward in the weeks after you get home, in the coming months as we wrap up 2018? and moving into 2019. And so I wanted to make sure that every person that stepped into that space left set up to win, set up to accomplish the things that they say are important to them. And so in order to do that, here are the five concepts, takeaways, ahas, that I wanted to share with you on the podcast today. So number one, is that our goals have a price. When you want something and you say it's important to you, you say it's a priority for you, you want to go back to school, get a promotion, start a business, grow your business, 
You want to become debt free. You want to start investing. You want to start getting involved in real estate. You've decided that you only want to be around people who encourage you and support you, that you want to shift the type of relationships that you are involved in. When you make these types of goals, when you set these types of intentions, it comes with a price. You have to know that in order to get what you want, it's going to cost you something. And now is a good time to ask yourself for the goals that you have that you have not accomplished yet, could it be that you have not been willing to pay the price? And the price varies from person to person, from goal to goal. Sometimes the price you pay is time. Sometimes the price you pay is money or sleep or some of the relationships or your comfort zone. Sometimes the price you pay is becoming what you are definitely created to be at the cost of your old self. Your old self that may be um, trapped inside of fear or trapped inside of past experiences or trapped inside of um, negative self-talk. It might cost you the work, the effort, the transformation process to release what's happening with the old you to become the you that you were created to be. And so what have you been willing to sacrifice for your goals? And one of the things I shared at the intensive that really resonated with people that caused people to pause was simply this. If you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want becomes the sacrifice. You can talk to any successful person that you admire, any person that is doing some of the things that you aspire to do, anyone that has reached a certain level that you resonate with. And it doesn't matter if that's around business, career, money. I guarantee you, if you sit down and have a conversation with them and ask them, what did it cost you to get this? What did you sacrifice to be able to live the life? that you now live. I know they have a long list or at least a short list (laughs) of sacrifices and costs that they had to pay. Success is always paid for in advance. And so if you want some of the goals that you've been talking about and you haven't gotten there yet, Ask yourself, have you been willing to pay the cost? So that's number one. Number one takeaway I wanted to share with you from the intensive. Number two, and you have heard me say this before, but it is so worth repeating. Are you a talker or or are you a walker? Because you can talk or you can walk. There are so many statistics out there about how many people who set goals actually achieve their goals. And when people set New Year's resolutions, how many people actually make it through the first week or the first month or the first quarter. And there's one statistic out there that says that about 90% of people who set goals will either have infrequent success or no success at all about 90%. And so I want you to think about some of the goals that you have, some of the goals that you've been working on, maybe something that's been on your vision board or something you put in your journal or goal poster. And look at each of them individually and ask yourself, am I part of the 90%? Or am I part of the 10%? Am I part of the 90% that are talking about what they gonna do? Or am I part of the 10% who are walking out, taking steps, making things happen in order to get the results that we say we want? And these are some tough questions. 
that you have to be willing to face. And one of the things I always say at my events and my masterminds when I'm working with clients is that you, as part of this radical success tribe, are in a no judgment zone. This isn't about whether you're right or wrong or whether you're behind or whether you're making enough progress or not. This is about the first step to getting any change in life is awareness. And so let's just become aware. Have you been willing to pay the price, to pay the cost, to get your goals? Have you been a part of the 90% or part of the 10%? And once you start answering these questions honestly, If you have been paying the cost and you have been sacrificing and you've been working, I am giving you a podcast high five. Keep moving, keep going. If you have been a walker, if you are already a part of that 10%, oh my goodness, I wish you could see the smile on my face. I am 100% celebrating with you. But if by chance there are some areas in your life where you haven't been willing to pay the cost for whatever reason, fear, discomfort, inability to say no, not being able to speak up for yourself, not having the confidence. If for some reason you haven't paid the price, you're in the right place. You're part of the tribe. That's what we're all about, helping you make progress. And if you have been a talker and not a walker, Now is the time to begin to ask yourself, what can I do today to start walking? It could be something as simple as making a phone call, getting some information, doing a follow-up email. It could be something as simple as having a conversation with your boss, cleaning up, dusting up, updating your resume. What small step can you take today that will begin to move you out of being part of the 90% and into the 10%. So that was number two, be a walker, not a talker. Number three, I talked and taught so much on this at the intensive. Transformation starts in your mind. Transformation starts in your mind. And you've heard me talk about the definition of transformation because it's such a buzzword and it's thrown around so much. But transformation is a complete, thorough change in form or appearance. With thorough change and, of course, complete as part of transformation being the key words. When something is transformed, it does not go back. And so if you've been out of debt, but got back in debt, if you've lost the weight, but then gained the weight, if you got out of that relationship, but then got into another um, challenging and disrespectful relationship, if you have decluttered and then, man, it's all cluttered up again, you were not transformed. You temporarily changed your behavior. And temporarily changing your behavior is not transformation. And transformation happens inside the mind first. When your mindset shifts about money, then being in debt, getting in debt becomes so much not an option. When you have a mindset shift around your health and wealth, then you make different decisions when it comes to the food and the way you move your body and how you manage your money. And so your mindset is really a set of assumptions, methods, beliefs that you hold that dictate your action. And oh my goodness, we did such a powerful exercise around mindset, looking at all of the areas of our lives, what we think, what we believe, how has it served us, how has it hindered us, and if it's hindered us, how can we begin to shift, have a fundamental change 
in how we see things, in how we think about things. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. Why do you think what you think about money? Where did it come from? Why do you think what you think about business owners, about successful people? Why do you think what you think about what it means to be in relationship, what it means to be a friend, what it means to be a spouse? And again, we're talking about awareness. And just being able to recognize that nothing we do is random. Nothing we do is random. We say things, we do things, we don't do things, we behave a certain way, we speak a certain way, all because of what we believe in our mind and in our soul. And if what we are doing, what we are saying, what we are seeing, what we are receiving does not line up with what we want and what we deserve, then there's a very strong chance that you have got to check your mindset and where your thoughts and beliefs come from. So that was number three, all around mindset. And then number four, oh my goodness, this this was so huge. I got so much feedback. There was so much discussion when we moved into this session during the intensive. And we began by asking ourselves, how long have we had the goals that we are working on now or that we say is a priority for us? And we did a survey. Have you had this goal less than six months? Have you had this goal about a year? Have you had this goal for a couple of years, two or three years? We had people who had some of their goals for five years. And there were some in the room that had their goals over 10 years. Think about some of the goals that you have. Where do you fall on this scale? You got some goals that you have had on your vision board that you've put in your journal. How long have they been there? Because if you've had them more than, you know, six months, I would say, then this is a critical point for you. And we talked about that there comes a time when there must be a tipping point. And I love Malcolm Gladwell's definition of tipping point. He says it's the moment of critical mass the threshold, the boiling point. And if you have had some goals for more than six months, you are at a critical moment. You are in crisis. You're in crisis because you said you wanted some things. And you said those things were important to you. You said those things are a priority for you. You said that you were willing, and maybe you haven't yet, but you said you were willing to adjust, change, sacrifice, pay the price. Because this, this thing right here was your dream. That business, that financial freedom, being in relationship with your spouse or your significant other or your children in a way that's fulfilling and peaceful and joyful. You said that was the priority, but yet it's not happening. If that's you, you are in crisis. And when someone is in crisis mode, That means it requires immediate attention, immediate attention. It cannot be delayed. You cannot ignore it. You cannot say, I will deal with it tomorrow. If you are in crisis mode with your goals, right now is the time that you have to deal with it. And you have to decide, is this or is this not the thing I want? 
Do I want to write a book or not? Do I want to start a business or not? Do I want to grow this business or not? Do I want to advance my career or not? Do I want to gain more skills in this area or not? Do I want to go back to school or not? This is your defining moment. This is your tipping point. And if you decide that, yes, I still want this, even though I'm in crisis mode with it, I still want it, then today is the day that you make a decision to pay attention to that crisis and begin to do something about it. What could that look like? It could look like what I said earlier, finding that one, two small things that you can start doing right now. It can start with my Radical Success Mastermind I mentioned earlier in the podcast. If you're in crisis mode, and you really don't know how to get it done if you've never been taught how to change your mindset, if you've never been through a proven process that walks you through understanding who you are, why you are, why you think what you think, why you believe what you believe, how do you change your mindset DNA, how do you deal with barriers and fears and setbacks and anger and bitterness and the people in your life, if you've never been taught how to do that and you're in crisis mode, The Radical Success Mastermind may be your answer. If you're an entrepreneur and you feel like you've been struggling and working and on the treadmill and busy and not really productive and the money's not coming in and you think you're marketing but nothing's happening and you don't understand social media and branding and all of your paperwork and everything and systems and fulfillment is just, it's just not working and you're in crisis mode with your business, maybe the Radical Success Mastermind is for you. We have two tracks personal transformation, and entrepreneurship. If you're in crisis mode, make a decision today. This is what I'm going to do to begin to move out of crisis mode and make real tangible steps towards getting what it is I say I want. And then my fifth and final takeaway for you guys today is 2018 is not over. Say it with me. Say it loud. 2018 is not over. I know some people have already started playing with that. Man, next year going to be my year. Oh, when 2019 get here, this is what I'm going to do. And if you have already started to lean in that direction, If you've already started to feel like, well, I mean, shoot, it's getting ready to be Halloween and then Thanksgiving and then, man, that means Christmas is right around the corner. I'm going to just go ahead and, and get myself set up for 2019. If that has been your conversation, if you have started to have a few of those thoughts, I just want to stop you right now. We are just getting into the fourth quarter of 2018. We have, like I said, a good solid 12 weeks to go. And you can accomplish so much in 12 weeks. Many things can shift for you. You can make significant progress on some of the goals that you have. And I would encourage you to think about where you want to be in the next 90 days. What do you want to accomplish between now and the end of the year? What do you want to be celebrating when that clock strikes midnight on December 31st? You have such great opportunity in these coming months to make a shift in your finances, to get more clients, to make more money in your business, to talk with your boss, to make some changes to advance in your career. There is time this year. I hope that my five big takeaways from the Radical Success Intensive have been beneficial to you. Um, As always, I would love to hear your biggest ahas, your biggest takeaways. Please share them with me on Twitter at Doreen Rainey. You can leave a comment um, right below and share with me what's really resonated with you, what's sticking out for you. Um, Of course, you can join our tribe on Facebook, our Radical Success Tribe. And of course, if you're ready to make a big move and come out of crisis mode, I'd love to talk with you about our Radical Success Mastermind that starts um, this month, 
like right now, like, come on, let's talk about it. Um, you can go to Radical Success Mastermind and get all the details and to find out um, how we can see if this is a good fit for you. And as always, 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 I thank you and appreciate each and every one of you for listening. Please share this podcast. If you have been getting um, great information, great insight, if this has been helpful to you, please hit the share button, hit the forward button, tell a friend, post it on your social media, tell people to tune in to the Radical Success Podcast. It is so good to be back from our hiatus. We are back in the groove of our weekly podcast. And I look forward to connecting with you again on my next episode. In the meantime, stay radical. Thanks for listening to the Radical Success Podcast. We would love to hear from you. Be sure to head over to iTunes and subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Until next time, stay radical.